welcome to another video in this video I will show you how you can call power automate from JavaScript now you will you all know that in model driven apps we can write some JavaScript that will run on form right to validate form fields or to do crude operations using XRM web API that we can do in JavaScript but for some scenario if you require to call a power automate from your dynamic 365 or model driven app javascript you can call that using xrm web api also right using xrm uh, xml http request right so let me tell you uh, the demo how it works let's say i'm trying to create a uh, account i'll click on new and try to give something like uh, the really great ing this is the account name and email i'll give gmail.com for example just demo uh, email id now when i will save my requirement is it should send the account name and email id as a pdf file and it will be sent to some email id right you can see here i have already integrated this that's why it is saying here flow is initiated the pdf will be sent soon right and this is triggered from the javascript now click on ok now i will check my email id as i have already configured here you will see the subject uh, the attachment is the uh, account name dot pdf if you open this you will see in that pdf uh, you will see the account name and the email id right and the point here is this is just a simple application but you can make it more complex right it depends on you I'm just showing you a proof of concept that how you can convert the uh, Dynamics 365 uh, entity information stable informations convert it to PDF and send it to an att attachment in Microsoft Outlook right or you can use any email client as per your need now let us understand how this is done right the first thing is you have to design a flow right in power automate you have to open the power automate and give a name first thing you have to choose when a HTTP request is received as a trigger right now when you use HTTP when a HTTP request is received this URL the HTTP post URL is initially blank this URL will only be enabled whenever you save the flow right so first understand this is initially blank now for this when a HTTP request is received trigger is identified it will ask you to provide some JSON schema to provide the JSON schema you should have some JSON value JSON format uh, for your data that will be posted to this HTTP trigger so what I am using is this syntax so this is the syntax JSON syntax you can note it also I just want to pass uh, name colon let's say msft comma then email id msft at the red gmail.com this is just a sample data right now whenever i will call the power automate from the javascript i have to pass the json object like this format so you can copy this and this is just sample data it's no way related to actual data you can copy this format this is just a json format schema you can click on use sample payload you can define here and click on done now once you click on done it will automatically generate the schema for you right now once it is done the, done, the next thing is i have to convert the request that is received in this uh, trigger when a HTTP request I, I have received when when I receive a HTTP request in this trigger I have to convert I have to form a an HTML format HTML uh, script to incorporate this name and email that is sent to this trigger here I am creating a HTML file right HTML inside body I have mentioned name and this name is passed from this step right HTTP request name and email 
here you will find name and email using dynamic panel you can insert if you want to insert them is insert some image also you can add right let's say i want to add some images uh, in body say or i want to write down some header right h1 and inside that i can write down your account details right and i have dynamically placed name and email so this compose step will format my or compose my data to a html right next important thing is as i want to convert html to pdf i can use a connector called as a muhimbi connector and uh, for muhimbi you need to sign up the account or to open a muhimbi account you can search here muhimbi account connector this provides a flexibility to convert uh, the muhimbi uh, to pdf right you can use the connector you can try it free and it will give you the option to use the api right so i have already created this connection if you want to use this connection you have to try subscribe the trial version for taking this muhimbi connector now this muhimbi connector to convert html to pdf it requires the html output the html output is available here you can provide this html out html output to this source url or html field for this convert html to pdf action next once this output is converted to pdf in this step I want to send an email so I have chosen to whom I want to send I have given this subject let's say and change account details and on the body I want to write down hi the account details is attached in PDF regards team right now this is the body and if you want to mention some dynamic value you can use this dynamic panel to insert some dynamic value here and in the attachment i have inserted the name that is coming from as a request http request dot pdf right this is the extension i have used dot pdf so it will dynamically mention the name and dot pdf then in the attachment content i have passed the processed file from this output of this step right you will find here processed file content so this is the output pdf that is available as an attachment here now my flow is completed so only three steps i have re received the request with session format composed as an html converted to pdf and sending email as an attachment right now i can save it now the flow work is done now how to call this flow from javascript there is another script that we need to associate as a web resource right you all know that how you can write a javascript web resource and uh, call that web resource from a entity form right now i will show you this script that is used to call now remember when you save this flow you will see a new http post url will be generated this url is necessary to call this flow now here you understand this is the javascript function i have written function call flow here i am passing execution context as parameter as because i want to read the uh, form fields so this execution context is important so using get form context i am getting the object form context and using the form context object i am reading the account name and email that someone gives on the account form right and i have defined a param variable json type variable and defined a name with the dynamic account name field assigned here and the email dynamically assigned email now i am calling the flow or sending a http request to the url that is generated for me in my flow right this is the url now i have to post i have to send a http request to this url so that this flow will call 
so this is the url this url i have mentioned here i have taken a variable url and in the variable url i have copied this and pasted here this is the whole url that is copied from power automate then this is generic right how to call how to send a http post request in javascript this is very generic request object new http and uh, new xml http request i um, requested open post method url i passed and uh, then set request header application json and i'm passing the uh, parameters with json stringify so it will send by stringy uh, stringy string variable by parsing to json then i am displaying the alert dialog edge flow initiated the pdf will be sent soon now this javascript will be called as a web resource from account form right if i go here i have called here in the save event on save i have created a account javascript and the account javascript i have mentioned this uh, javascript mentioned the javascript uh, code in that javascript web resource and pass this execution context as first parameter this is important because we are capturing this execution context in here as a parameter once it is passed you can click on done and save it or publish it once you publish it you can go here and try to create a new account let's say the big part account tbfa at the gmail.com just testing this and click on save now the pro is initiated so this information is displayed from this script you will see here pro initiated and the pdf will be sent now if you click ok after some time you will see the email is triggered right you have to wait because it is uh, asynchronous you will find that here can you see that this is the email that i have received account details in attached form body and subject and if you click this and also the pdf name is dynamically generated as uh, name of the account and dot pdf and the pdf information is there now you can leverage this integration by uh, creating more more complex applications right more complex logic right you can also add uh, you can also add uh, some you know here you can format html as per your complexity right now you understand how you can call power automate from javascript that was my motto to tell you now you can make it more complex as per your need thank you guys for your time and i hope you enjoyed this video practice this and let me know if you have any issue thank you guys see you